Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today we'll be reading from the book of um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 from verses 17 to verses 21. And I'll be reading from the King James Version. Join me. Let's enjoy this spiritual meal together. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Notice that proviso, if any. If any. So it's not saying, it's not here saying that everybody's in Christ. It is being particular, it's being selective. If any man be in Christ. And the gender, and the gender, the use of the gender phrase there uh, really doesn't matter. It's, you, you could jolly well say, if any woman be in Christ. It's, it's, uh, it goes both ways. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. So that fellow is new, a new creation. So that creation has never existed. If you say a new creation, it means that it never existed before. It cannot be new. Like I said, it cannot be new if it has existed before. New means it never existed before. You could say refurbished if it was in existence before, but this is new. Or renewed. Renewed means it existed before. But here it says new. It's a new creature. New creation. It says all things are passed away. So not of, nothing of the old is inherent in this new creature. Behold, all things are become new. So everything about this new creature is brand new. And all things are of God. Now note that when he says this, he's referring to your spirit man. So your flesh looks the same. Your soul, your will, your mind, your emotions are still a product of how they were before. But your spirit is now brand new. Do not use your flesh to judge your spirit, whether your spirit is new or not. Do not use your thoughts to judge whether your spirit is new or not. Jehovah says that that which cannot be seen, the spirit man is brand new. Brand new as in spanking brand new. Straight, fresh, fresh mint or fresh from the oven. Brand new. Think of yourself like that. Now verse 18. And all things are of God. So this brand new creation is of God. Who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. So this brand, so we are, we are now reconciled by Jesus Christ. We've been reconciled to God. So this brand new one is reconciled to God. And had given to us the ministry of reconciliation. So he sent us to go forth and minister reconciliation. Tell others that they have been reconciled to God. God is no longer mad or angry. No, I, I don't like that word mad. Angry at the sinner. His anger was blazed at Jesus Christ. The only time that you really get yourself in trouble is if you cross the Rubicon. You leave this place without accepting this noble gift that he gave in the death of his son. Because you are in essence saying that you, you could pay for your own sins. And because we couldn't pay for our sins, that's why he sent his son to die in our stead. To wit, that is or to know, verse 19, that God was in Christ. Reconciling the world unto himself. So it was God that was actually responsible for that reconciliation. He was actually in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them. So in essence, he wasn't give, paying them according to the wages which they deserved. The trespass, remember the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. The soul that sinned, it shall die. But God was not giving them that just measure of death. Instead, um, but had com he had reconciled the world unto himself. Reconciliation is, a, is usually an accounting term. Reconcile, reconcile your books. You you, you bring everything into harmony. And, and then he says, <clears throat> And had committed unto us the word of reconciliation. In verse 20. Or rather, listen to that again. He has committed unto us the word of what? Chastisement? No. Reconciliation. We are to go and tell the world this particular thing that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Did you notice he said reconciling the world, not the Christian, the world, the goim, to himself. Who are we now to go and tell the world otherwise? And he has committed unto us the ministry of reconciliation. 
I committed unto us the word of reconciliation. That is the word we are to go and preach. The word of reconciliation. Verse 20. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead. Be ye reconciled to God. God has reconciled you to him. Now, now accept it and come forward to him. God bless you. Hallelujah.